first and foremost, I want to give all the praises and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachak Wadash, double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, and much blessing and salutations to the Akim around the four corners of the earth who are diligent in pushing out this truth and this truth of sincerity. Alright, so I uh, just want to do a, a quick video, alright, to exhort brothers, you know, to keep on pushing, you know, because we're in doing so. You know and continuing to push you know for the lord's sake all right doing what the lord commanded us to do which is to go out onto the highways and byways and so like uh, there's a little bit of noise and a little bit of in, in transit here at the gig uh, let me just um turn this here real quick um Alright, so, you know, like I was saying, man, we got to keep pushing for the Lord's sake, you know, because at the end of the day, man, you know, we're going to receive a great reward, you know, that being the kingdom, you know, and, and what the reason for me doing this lesson is to get to exhort brothers to keep pushing to get one of the to so we that we can receive our rest, which is the rest is, is a part of receiving this kingdom, man. All right. The um, which is the rest, all right? It's a, it's a um, what's the term? Um, can't remember exactly the term that is used, but nonetheless, let me get straight into the precepts here. This is um, Hebrews chapter four. Uh, let me see. Um, I'll start at 9. This is Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 9, and it reads, Therefore remaineth Salakia. There remaineth therefore a rest to the people of the Most High. Alright, and, and all of Israel is going to receive that rest. Alright, all of, of, of the two-thirds are right, included. Alright, it's not just going to be the elect, although the elect will receive the first fruits. The elect shall be the, the ones that receive those first fruits. You know, it says, verse 10, it says, For he that is entered into his rest, he also hath ceased from his own works, as the Most High did from his. Exactly, man. So when we get, it says, And he that is entered into our rest, all right? And when we get into the kingdom, we're going to be at rest, man. You know, the brother, uh, the brother Ash, you know, out here in, uh, in GMS Tampa, you know, he sent out a picture of the dog, Roscoe. Of his dog, he got he got a pit, you know, laid all splayed out on the floor, you know, just nonchalant, nonchalant, really not giving no no uh, no f's, you know, just no cares in the world, you know, and then that's how we're gonna be in the kingdom, man. It says, for he that is entered into his rest, he also has ceased from his own works. All right, so when it comes down to the kingdom, that's when we're gonna cease from our works. All right, but what? Right now, we have to push. All right, we got to keep going out on the highways and byways. All right, we got to uh, do our videos. All right, we got to uh, constantly pray to the Lord. You know, we got to be reading, you know, studying to show ourselves approved, man. But what? Once we enter into the kingdom, we're going to enter into our rest, man. Well, we're not going to have to do any of that, man. All right, it says, as the Most High did from, for, from His. All right, it says, 11, let us there... Salakia, and this is the point, verse 11, let us labor therefore to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief, because what? The two-thirds are going to fall because of their unbelief, all right? They're going to, and those are set forth as examples, and we have many other examples of, of men who've been in this truth, who have fallen out, who have um, basically entered into a, a state of of rest in their eyes which really it's it's nothing but still they're still living in hell you know jake's still living in hell here you know but what we it says let us labor therefore to enter into that rest so we can't just expect just to um just to enter into the kingdom all free with willy-nilly man 
I we have to. The Lord is is, is is set out a quota for us, and we are to meet that quota, man. It says, "Let us therefore, let us labor therefore." All right. Now the two thirds, they don't. They're going to still get that rest, but what their their um their duties are are to uh, be burnt up in the nuclear missiles, man, or, or or die by famine, or however the Lord deems it necessary for them to perish. All right. That's how they. That's how they're going to labor. All right. So not. It, it, no one is, is is going without having to pay some way or somehow. We're just the men of the Lord. We're paying with our with our uh, what's it called? We're paying with our flesh, man. Now we're paying with our flesh. We're giving ourselves as a living sacrifice unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, and we we have to keep pushing, man. All right, to enter into that rest. Let me get another one. A quick precept, man. This is uh, Galatians chapter 6 and verse 9. And it says, um, I'll, I'll start at verse 8. It says, For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. Exactly, man. And you see, see how the spirit spirit is, man. Hey, you, you these people want to, uh, these two thirds, they're, they're, um, they're sowing to his to the flesh, right? Meanwhile, you got the men of the Lord that we're laboring. We're laboring for the spirit because at the end of the day, that's what we want. We want to uh, be able to re receive the spiritual gifts, which is the kingdom of heaven. All right. These people are right, the two thirds. They're laboring. All right. To um, to receive uh, uh, fleshly rewards. All right. Which is what money, uh, women. Um, what, whatever else you can think of, man, that's a part of this world, which the brother, the brother Ash made a beautiful video on that, man. Love not the world. All right. If, if I'm not mistaken, that was the name of the title. But it says, but he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. And then and, 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 and part of that life everlasting is that rest. All right. We're going to have rest from our enemies. All right. Which I believe that's a precept as well. Let me uh, let me see here. Um, rest from my enemies. See. Uh, uh, nonetheless, um, nonetheless, I can't uh, remember where. All right, well, let me see what it says here. Salakia, bear with me, Akia. All right, but one of those, one of those things being us having that rest in the kingdom of heaven is having the rest from, of our enemies, man. Okay? And let me see if I can get it here. All right, uh, Deuteronomy 28. All right, 65, it says, and among these, these nations, all right, well, let me start at 64. This is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 64. It says, the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth, even unto the other, and there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone, and among these nations shall thou find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. And so you see, when we get into the kingdom of heaven, we're finally going to have that rest. All right, we're going to be set above, which is all the part of us receiving the kingdom, man. Because we're good. the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, starting from the apostles, well, start starting from Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai on down. All right, we're going to be the rulers of this world, man, and we're we're going to be above the other nations. So we're going to have that rest. Okay, let me get on back to uh, Galatians there. All right, this is Galatians chapter six and verse nine. It says, "It says, and let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not." And what are we going to reap? The kingdom of uh, the kingdom of the Most High, man. All right, 
the everlasting kingdom, that rest. It said, let us not be weary in well-doing. And what is well-doing? Doing this work, uh, doing the ministry, man. All right? The, doing the work for Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. That is well-doing. And it said, what? Let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap, if we faint not. All right? It says, as we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of, of the faith. But the, the point is in nine, man. It said, let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. So we are to do this work, man, and not weary. All right, you want to, uh, you get Jake out here who likes to talk about, man, I just want to chill. Well, guess what? You want to chill, you got to put in that work now, man. You got to put in that work now so that what? So that then at the end you can chill. Then you can relax. All right, then that, then that's when you're gonna re that's when we receive the the, the kingdom, man. The kingdom of the uh, who we ignorantly who the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus Christ, man. Okay. Uh, let me get um, a couple more here. Uh, what was it? Um, Isaiah, Isaiah three and ten. Okay. Uh, Alright, this is uh, Isaiah chapter 3 verse 10. It says, Say ye to the righteous that it shall be well with him, for they shall eat the fruit of their doings. Alright, and so that's what we go out on the highways and byways to tell Jake, man. It says, Then it shall be well with him, for they shall eat the fruit of for they shall eat the, the fruit of their doings, man. And that's what we that's what I'm making this video for, man. For for the exhortation of you brothers that are diligently pushing this truth, man. Continue to push, man. So because it's gonna be well with you. It says, for they, for they shall eat the fruit of their doings. And you're going to eat the fruit of your doings, man. The well-doings. which Like we just read in Galatians chapter um, 6, verse 9. He said, uh, let, me, let me get it again. So I don't butcher it. It said, let us be not weary in well-doing. And well-doing is what? Doing this work. Doing Well, I'll put it like this. To put it in a very broad per, uh, perspective. The doings of uh, the, the way of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. The ways of the Lord are well doing. They're good. The ways of the Lord are good. Why? Because the Lord, what Yahweh Shai said, only the uh, only the Father is good. There is none good but the Father. So what? The Lord, if the Lord is good, are not his ways good too? So what does it say? Let us not be wearing well doing. Alright? And so what? What is good? What is good doings? Well doings. Doing doing following the law states with commandments of Yahweh Shim Shai, man. Going out and pushing out this truth. That's well doings, man. So in, in Isaiah, all right, what, what I'm exhorting you brothers in is saying what? That you shall eat the fruit of your doings, man. Which if you're doing this truth, if you're doing this uh, sincerely, then guess what? You're doing it, it's well doings, and you're gonna receive, you're gonna reap what you what you sow, man. You know, for you brothers that are sincere and, and are and are and doing, man, and continue to push. You know. Uh, let me get one more and I'll close out on this one. Um, well, I think I think this is one. Let me see. Uh, all right, gone. Yep, yeah, I'll close out on this one. This is uh, Psalms chapter 16, verse 8. It says, I have set the Lord always before me. Meaning what? You chose, you so you set the ways of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and you live by them. All right? Um, there's a precept in, in 1 John. I can't remember if it was in chapter 2 or chapter 5. But it says that um, um, that they they say that they don't they know the Most High, but um, do not his follow not his commandments are liars. Roughly paraphrasing. Uh, let me just see if I can get it real quick. Um, First John, I think it's in two. All right, kind of yep. First John chapter two, verse three, and it says, and hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. And in the Lord commanded us to go out on the highways and byways and teach our people, man. All right, there's plenty of precepts on that. So if you're keeping it, if you're keeping the Lord always before you, you're you're in the Lord's commandments. If you're not, then guess what? You don't know the Lord. You can't say you have a relationship with Yahweh Shem Shai. You know, or God, as as these Christians say, you can't say that because you don't keep his commandments. But what the men of the Lord. It says, I have set the, and this is, this is, this is what at the end of the day, the elect are doing. It says, I have set the Lord 
This is Psalm 16 and 8. I have set the Lord always before me because he is my right hand. I shall not be moved. Therefore, my heart is glad and my glory rejoices. Rejoiceth. My flesh also shall rest in hope. And right now, what? Spiritually, you know, we're in rest, you know, on this side right now. Because what? The truth, the, the, the scripture says that the truth shall set you free. Right? It says the truth shall set you free. Right? So that's how we're at rest right now. Because we have the hope. The hope of what? Receiving the kingdom and receiving the everlasting rest. All right? The, the everlasting kingdom. All right? It's, let me read that again. It says, Therefore my heart is glad and my glory rejoiceth. Rejoiceth. My flesh also shall rest in joy and in hope. All right? And that's why we have to keep pushing. We have to keep the, the ways of the Lord before us so that we can keep pushing, man. You know? So that we can receive that rest, I mean. Salakia. He saw I gotta come in and try to disrupt the spirit, man. You know, over here, uh, you know, I'm, at, I'm over here at the, at the job, you know, just, you know, cruising around in a boat. And you got Esau over here come swooping on by in his boat, causing waves and shit, you know. But hey, we're gonna, we're gonna, you see, this is, that's how we, this is why we say that we have, we rest in, our, in hope. Because we, hey, I'm not going to get, we're not going to sit here and get bent out of shape because of the things that Esau does, man. Because what we have rest in our hope, man. Because we know that soon enough, the Lord is going to return and we're going to receive that everlasting kingdom, man. All right? All right, and I'm going to close out. Let me just finish reading this out to the bottom. Reading verse 9 again. Psalm 16, verse 9, it says, Therefore my heart is glad. Why is my heart glad? Why is why is my mind at ease? Because I, I we have set the ways of the Lord before us, man. We follow in the laws that some commandments to the best of our abilities okay and it says and my glory rejoiceth my flesh also shall rest in hope you see so our flesh on this side is spiritually in rest but soon enough we're going to have that spiritual rest and that physical rest man all right it says verse 10 for for thou will not leave my soul in hell neither will thou suffer thy holy one to see corruption right man because the lord isn't going to just keep us in, in this hellhole that we're living in, man. All right. It says, "Neither will thou suffer thy holy ones to, to see corruption." All right, because the, the the elect, the ones that have been chosen from the beginning of the world, are those men are not going to see corruption. All right. We're not going to the, the the elect is not going to fall off, man. All right. Verse eleven: Thou shalt show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. And that's what we're seeking, man. Those pleasures forever, forevermore, man. We're seeking that fullness of joy. Which we will get when the Lord returns, man. And really, through the Spirit, we're receiving them now. You know, we have that peace of mind. You know? But with that, hey, Lord willing, your brothers were edified through the Spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachak Kodash. Double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone. The most blessing and salutations to the Akim around the four corners of the earth who are diligently pushing out this truth and this truth and sincerity. Until next time, I say Shalom.